morning and welcome to all of you right across the benefice, wherever you are this morning, it's good that you have joined us for this act of worship, our Sunday Holy Eucharist. We begin the service at the beginning of the prayer book. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let grace and peace be with you and keep you in the love of Christ. We pray together our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, all hearts are open to you, no secrets are hidden from you. Purify us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that we may love and worship you faithfully, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so now we come to that part in our service where we prepare to meet God in the heart of the Eucharist, and we recall to mind all the events of the past week, and we make our confession to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. And so may Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin, strengthen you in goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So, if you're following along in your prayer book, we now come to the Gloria. We'll say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So now we come to our collect for the fourth Sunday of Trinity. Let us pray. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, but we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Here is the Old Testament lesson. It is taken from Zechariah chapter 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double. Here ends the Old Testament lesson.
now let us listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say he looks like a glutton, a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yes, wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me. All of you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. True and living God, the source of all life, of all creation, you have made us in your image. Always and everywhere we give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In your love for us and in the fullness of time, you sent your Son to be the Saviour. The Word was made flesh, he lived among us and we have seen his glory. For our sins and the sins of the whole world, he suffered death on the cross, you raised him to life in triumph and exalted him in glory. Through him you send your Holy Spirit upon your church and make us your people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we praise your glorious name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, Almighty God, because on the night he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This cup is a new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come in glory. Therefore, loving God, we call in now the sacrifice of Christ, your Son, once for all upon the cross, and the triumph of his resurrection. We ask you to accept this, our sacrifice of praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and these gifts, that we be fed with the body and blood of your Son, and be filled with your life and goodness. Unite us in Christ, and give us your peace, that we may do your work, and be his body in this world. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Come, let us receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, given for us, and feed on him in our hearts, by faith with thanksgiving. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The blood of Christ keep you in eternal life. Generous God, you have fed us at your heavenly table. Kindle us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that when the Lord comes again, we may shine as lights before him, who is alive and reigns in glory for ever. Amen. And so now we come to the end of our benefit service this Sunday. I'm really glad that you've been able to join us and please join us for other services which you'll find on Facebook through the week. There's two other Eucharists on Tuesday and Thursday. There's other services, activities. Maybe please join us for the coffee morning on Friday and we hope to see you again next Sunday. But now we conclude our service. The Lord be with you and also with you. May the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.